We are living in a revolution of the media industry. As the whole industry now shifts from 2D images to 3D, it's crucial that we bring real, authentic humans into those environments to really experience their stories, their feeling and their emotions. Volumetric capture is the only way right now to do that. It's a complete breakthrough in technology and the future of storytelling. The parts are in production and everything is works and basically you lose the heat to the outside and what you have in the middle is like constant temperature, what you need for the ship. So it's a complete passive cooling system. It's passive cooling without any noise and it could be quieter. We work a lot with the movie industry where quality is a very, very high standard. For those occasions, there is no camera on the market actually which you can buy off the shelf. And so we invented a new camera systems to increase the resolution even more. And what is your stomach feeling? Will it work? It will work. <laughs> okay. We are not just capturing a person from one angle, but we're capturing from all different angles. Afterwards, we create a complete 3D representation of the person. This process is called volumetric capture or volume cap. It's hard to imagine for normal people what we are doing right now, but actually it's the future. We use this technology for metrics, resurrections, we can really capture the spirit of a real person. It's not some animated digital puppet. You really have the feeling that the person is next to you. That's why we're always targeting the highest possible quality. The capture system right now is at 650 megapixel per frame, which is equal to 70 times 4K resolution. Our new camera system will have five times more resolution, which means we will increase the total resolution to more than 3,000 megapixels per frame. The technical challenges are huge. On a normal film set, you have one camera, but we have more than 40. And you can imagine bringing all those 40 camera data feeds down to just one volumetric video. It's a lot of processing power and we really can run those yeah. performance benchmarks. Our team was double-checking whether we understood your use case right. They were really confused, but also challenged in a way. The data of all the books in the world equals to just five minutes of volumetric capture with our current system. We are really on the edge of what is possible in terms of network and transmission of data. So the whole pipeline from storage, processing, and network architecture has to be changed. Even with our system now, we, it takes more than 10 hours to copy the data. Wow, and, okay. And the problem is if you copy late the day, you can't shoot on the next day. Is there any plan to scale up with that as well? Yeah, I, I would say in a perfect world, I would say like a, a lunch break. Okay. And after the lunch break, everything is copied, you come back and you can yeah. continue to shoot. I mean, yeah, yeah <laughs> this would be perfect. But I don't know if this is yeah. possible. If you want to have this one, because the whole function of uh, losing the heat is on the top. Mm -hmm. So we have free hand. We need to constantly explore new technologies. One part is the high resolution, but the second part is the portability. So we can move to different sets, like film productions, but also to medical spaces. If you have a surgery, which you can basically now capture volumetrically in 3D, people can put on VR headsets and walk around, so you can meet and explore real humans in those environments. So, look. And they're still perfectly lined up. Yeah, we calculate everything before, before it's in the oven. Yeah. That we have the right measures when it comes out, when it cools down. I think with uh, all cameras and lights, uh, we have uh, 1,000 kilograms. Okay, so this is one of the parts. It worked out very well. It's so tight, actually. So, how flexible is the system? It's modular. We can make it for elephants, human. We can scale it. And it's a thousand times lighter than our current system, right? Yes. <laughs> Crazy. <Sure. laughs> if you want to deliver future technologies now, every part in the pipeline needs to be very advanced. So the technical challenges are huge.
So do they want to see the figure? Yeah, but what are the figures now? Yeah. But you can see uh, here, we can chip already 13 gigabytes. You just need to uh, have two hours copy time. Two? Two hours, yes. Really two hours? Really two hours. So we can copy over lunch break and then continue yeah. shooting? Yes. If you look beyond entertainment, there are so many opportunities for our technology, from sports to medical to enterprise. For example, with Windfall, the big benefit is that we get much more data than you usually get from a wind tunnel, and it's cheaper. Usually you have to use very expensive setups to analyze the characteristics of such a device. With our setup, we get extremely precise spatial information and how the wind and turbulences behave, and we can use this data to improve on the product. It's the future, and I think in the next few years, our technology will become the standard. Ignition sequence start. Just like cinema has changed how we communicate, volumetric video will do the same for us. It will change how we will perceive those digital environments and be part of those great stories in the future.